Mount Everest with an elevation of 8,848 metres or 29,031 feet is Earth's highest mountain above sea level and one of the most famous mountains in the world. But as many might not know, the China-Nepal border runs across its summit point and thus Everest is shared by both China and Nepal. Yet, the mountain does not bear a name that relates to either country and instead is named after a British man named Sir George Everest. Thus, it raises a simple question, why? But first, Height. During the early 1800s and spanning several decades, the Great Trigonometric Society of British India undertook a comprehensive survey of the region that is now known as Mount Everest. Operating from a resort located 140 miles away in Darjeeling, India, they observed a remarkable expanse of snowy terrain, which they initially named Gamma before later changing it to Peak B in 1847. At the time, it was widely believed that Kang Chen Junga, a peak located 125 kilometers east southeast of Mount Everest, held the distinction of being the tallest mountain in the world. However, the Great Trigonometrical Survey of India conducted extensive calculations and measurements in 1849, which conclusively revealed that Peak B surpassed Kang Chen Junga in height. Peak B was renamed to Peak 15. Following meticulous verification of their calculations, the official announcement came in 1856, confirming Kang Chen Junga as not the highest, but the third highest mountain and establishing the precise height of Peak 15 at 29,002 feet or 8,839.8 meters. That same year, Andrew Waugh, who was the British Surveyor General of India at the time, proposed the idea of christening the mountain with the name of his predecessor, Sir George Everest. And now, with all that out of the way, it's time for the controversial naming of Mount Everest. In 1849, during the British survey, efforts were made to preserve the local names of the mountain, if possible. However, Andrew Waugh, the British Surveyor General of India, faced challenges in finding commonly used local names due to restrictions on foreigners imposed by both Nepal and Tibet. Wa concluded that the abundance of local names made it difficult to single out one name above all others. Consequently, he concluded that Pick 15 should be named after his predecessor, a Surveyor General of India, the British surveyor Sir George Everest. Interestingly, Sir George Everest himself opposed Wa's proposed name as he believed that the mountains in the region should exclusively bear local names. In 1857, Everest himself expressed to the Royal Geographical Society that Everest could not be written in Hindi or pronounced by the natives of India. Despite the objections, Wa's proposed name prevailed, and in 1865, the Royal Geographical Society officially embraced the name Mount Everest as the name for the world's highest mountain, a name that remains to this day. Ironically, the modern pronunciation of Everest deviates from Sir George's own pronunciation of his surname, which was Everest. As many are hopefully aware now, Mount Everest does not reside within a single country. Instead, the China-Nepal border traverses its summit, with Nepal's Kosai province on one side and China's Tibet Autonomous Region on the other. And so it raises the question, what do each of these sides call Mount Everest in their own respective languages? The Tibetan name for Everest is Kamilingma, meaning Holy Mother. The earliest recorded instance of this name, transcribed in Chinese, dates back to 1721 in the Kangxi Atlas made during the reign of Emperor Kangxi of the Qing Dynasty. It later appeared as Chimalangma on a 1733 map published in Paris by the French geographer Danville, based on the aforementioned earlier map. Beyond Tibet, the official Chinese name for the mountain is Zhumulangmafeng, although other Chinese names were previously used such as Shengmufeng, meaning Holy Mother Peak. These names were largely phased out when the Ministry of Internal Affairs of China issued a decree in May 1952 mandating the adoption of a single name for the mountain. During the early 1960s, the Nepalese government introduced the Nepali name of Sagarmata, which means goddess of the sky or the head in the great blue sky. This name is derived from the combination of Sagar, meaning sea, and Mata, meaning head or forehead. While it may seem unusual to refer to a mountain as the forehead of the sea, the name likely stems from the formation of the Himalayas. The Himalayan mountains, of where Mount Everest is located, emerged from the collision between the Indian and Eurasian tectonic plates, indicating the presence of an ocean where the Himalayas now stand. Therefore, the mountain symbolizes the forehead or highest point of that ancient ocean, as it rises above the waters and gazes upon the surrounding lands. Lastly, there are the Sherpa people, who are among the numerous indigenous ethnic groups who reside in areas of the Himalayan mountains. Renowned for their exceptional mountaineering skills, the Sherpa community boasts several prominent figures, and one of the most well-known Sherpas is Tenzing Norgay. In 1953, 
Alongside New Zealander Edmund Hillary, the pair achieved the historic feat of being the first individuals to reach the summit of Mount Everest. Apart from their veneration of Buddha and the prominent Buddhist divinities, the Sherpa community also holds beliefs in various deities and demons that inhabit the mountains, caves and forests of the Himalayan mountains. These entities require respect and appeasement through ancient practices that are interwoven into the Sherpa's Buddhist traditions. Thus, Numerous Himalayan peaks are considered sacred by the Sherpas, and Mount Everest, known as Chamolangma, is profoundly revered as the mother of the world. This has been me, Jack, and if you're planning on climbing Mount Everest soon, please keep safe.